Now let's come to the topic where we discuss about the hydrostatic forces on surfaces. Now hydrostatic means that your fluid is not moving at all, it is static. And your surfaces are submerged in a static fluid. So due to that submersion, there are certain forces which are acting on a surface. So we'll do uh, four cases in this. The very first case is of a vertical plane surface which is submerged. So this is a vertical plane surface. Okay. If you look at from the side, you will see a straight line AB. Okay, so this is any random surface. All right. Now let us say the center, the centroid of this surface is G, and this is the free surface OO. All right. So the distance of this centroid of this entire body or this entire surface, I would say, from the free surface is H bar. So H bar always denotes the distance between the free surface and the centroid of the surface okay then you have a point p over here now what is this point p point p is known as the center of pressure okay so this point or the center of pressure is that point on which we assume that the entire hydrostatic force is acting so if you look at the side view the projection of point p on this is this and on this point, you have the entire hydrostatic force F acting on it. Okay, so the distance of this center of pressure from the free surface is H star. So this is a standard that you have to remember. Then let's assume a small strip on this surface. Let us say the strip has a width of B and a small height of H. And this strip is at a distance small h from the free surface. Okay, so let us say the small area would be dA, which is equal to B into dH. Now, let us say on this strip, if I take the projection of this strip, okay, let us say the force acting on this strip is dF. Alright, it's a very, very small strip. So, the pressure on this strip, first of all, the pressure on this strip, P strip, is rho G H because it is at a depth of H from the free surface. Now due to this pressure, there will be some pressure force and that pressure force is DF. So DF on the strip is equal to the pressure into the area, which is DA. Okay. So this is for this strip. If I have to find out the pressure force for the entire surface, I will have to simply integrate. So the force on entire surface on entire surface is capital F, which is the integral of df. Okay, and this would be integral rho g h into d a. Now, the density and the gravity are constant values, so let us take them outside. Okay. So, this is the integral of only h into dA. So, when you find out the integral for h into dA for the entire strip, this would give you area into h bar. So, this is the value of the total pressure force acting at the center of pressure. So, that is first part. Now we need to find out the location of this center of pressure means we need to find out this value of H star. Okay, so how do we find out H star? Okay, so let's find out the moment of this force about the free surface. So the moment of force DF about the free surface would be, let us say dm, so that is DF into H. Okay, so df we already know is how much? Rho g h da. So you will get rho g h square into da. That's the moment due to this small force on this strip about the free surface, which is at a distance of h. Now, for the entire uh, you know surface, the moment is f into 
h bar. So that is f into h star, not bar star. And this is equal to the integral of this part, which is rho g h square dA. Now again, rho and g are constant values, so I can take them out of the integral sign. So rho and g will come outside, and you will get integral h square into dA. Now what is h square dA integral? That is the moment of inertia about the free axis or the free surface. So it will be rho g into I naught. Okay, so I need to just find the value for h star. So h star would be, if I write it down there, h star is equal to rho g into I naught upon f. Now the value of f is rho g a into h bar. So this becomes rho g a into h bar. So I can strike off rho g and rho g and that will give me a value which is i naught upon a into h bar. Now if I write down this i naught in terms of the parallel axis theorem, okay, so I will get i naught is equal to i g plus a h bar square. i g is the moment of inertia about the centroid of the surface. So you will get i g plus a h bar square upon a h bar. Okay. So h star will be equal to i g upon a h bar plus you will have only h bar. So this is the formula of the mathematical relation to find out the value of the location of center of pressure from the free surface for a vertical plane surface which is submerged in a liquid. Okay, so two mathematical relations to understand and remember. First, the total pressure force and then the location of center of pressure from the free surface. So I hope you understood this derivation and analysis. Now let's look at a simple question on this topic. 